Okay, so let's make a start at setting up this thermostat. So I've got my Android phone here. Let's go to the Play Store and type in Room Heat EU. Be okay home. So let's go for that one. Install, give it a moment to install. Okay, the app's installed. Let's click open. First thing it is, it's asking to allow permissions to make and manage phone calls allow and allow access to photos, media, media and files on the device. I can understand this one perhaps to save the config on the phone, but the previous one, I don't understand why it needs access to that. So let's allow this anyway. Give it a moment. Okay, so it's ready now. So if I click on configure, accept the privacy agreement. So let me type in my Wi-Fi password off camera. Okay, so I've typed in my Wi-Fi password, ready to start configuring. So now if we go over to the controller and if I hold on to the down arrow and power, we've gone into a configuration mode here. And if you see here, you have an option. So if I go to the one that says FAC, which is factory, default, if I keep going, it's that one there, and we change this number to 10. If I click the off button now, it should reset it. So now if I click that and that, this is rapidly blinking away the actual Wi-Fi indicator. So now if I go back to my phone and just click start connection, and let's give it a moment. Okay, so it's saying success on my phone. So if I go back, Let's click on the search button and there you go, it's appeared. So that's the actual thermostat. So let's click on it and click on it one more time. And there you go, we've got into the interface now. So let me show you around the interface, pretty straightforward to use. So it's got a slider bar here. And if I move that and you look on the screen, you see the temperature's changed. If I move it back up, you can see that indicator indicates the heating's on and the temperature's 24. Looking back at the app, you can see there's an error. Occasionally do, you do get this for some reason, not sure why. It doesn't really seem to cause any sort of issue, but I was getting that on the previous app as well. I guess it's very similar. Okay, so another thing to show, if I take down the temperature, look in your phone, and you can see the temperature hasn't changed. So it doesn't push the details back. So you've got to click on the refresh in the corner. Okay, got an error. Let's click it one more time. And there you go, it's appeared. It's at 18 degrees on there. If we look below, we've got a down arrow and an up arrow, and that actually changes the temperature by half a degree. Down and upwards as well. Okay, looking down, the time and date, they're incorrect. So there's a time icon here. If I click that, it synchronizes it and it correctly sets the time and day on the actual thermostat. We've got a lock icon here. So if you had young children who'd mess around with the buttons, if I come over to here now, I can't change the temperature. And if I go back to the app and unlock it, you can see it's now possible to change the temperature. Okay, next one is an anti-freezing option. That's if you're using it for a water heating system, but we're, I'm not gonna be using it for that. So just to show, icon does come on, doesn't do anything, let's turn it off. Okay, that's turned off. Below there's a slider with times on there. If I click on there, Try again. Okay, had to hold on to it to, for it to appear. Okay, so this says set week program data loop. So this is your timer for the week. So if you look below during the working day, program set, so period one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are different periods during the day and you can have it setting to a certain temperature during those times. So you can adjust the times and the temperatures, obviously, and weekend program data set at the bottom. So you can amend that as well. So on the weekend, you could have different 
uh, start times and end times and different temperatures. So I'll give you an example, if you're home all weekend, if you look at the bottom, you could say at eight o'clock in the morning, start up and maintain that temperature and in the evening, just set it down to a low temperature. So seems quite straightforward. Let's go back. Try again, oh, came out, let's go back in. Okay, looking at the bottom, you've got a button called power. If I click that, powers it off. And if you look at the display, the display's turned off, meaning it's just turned off the heating system. If I click it again, give it a moment, it's turned on, and there you go, display's come back. Now, looking at the button next to it, Oh, another message, error message. You've got a button called automatic. So this is the timer. If I set it, click it and it sets itself to manual. So that's where the timer doesn't kick in and it just works manually. Let's give it a moment. Click it again. And there you go, it's set to manual. So timer's not in effect and whatever temperature you set, it will just stay at that. So it won't turn off or on. It will just be stuck at that. Okay, let's set it back to automatic and senior, if we click on that one, give it a moment, see if anything appears. And I found that one doesn't really show anything. I have seen it appear once, some configuration options, but it is a bit flaky like I've already said. Okay, so let's come out and that's all the functionality you have in the app. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show is remote connectivity on here. So if I drop this down, turn off my Wi-Fi, my data's on, I'll go back up. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna come out of the app for a moment. Let's reopen it and give it a second to start up. It's not smart enough to flip between Wi-Fi and data. You've gotta restart the app. And you see in the corner at the top, um, the icons change from a Wi-Fi icon to a cloud icon, meaning it's got cloud-based connectivity now. So if I click it, let's give it a moment. My 4G's on, as you can see in the corner. Let's give it some time. It's blacked out for a second as it's attempting to connect, and there you go, it's connected. So let's try and change that temperature. 17 and a half, if we look on the screen, let's give it some time to update. And there you go, 17 and a half. So remote connectivity as well, so really impressed. Okay, let's go back. So that's all the functionality you have. Pretty straightforward to set up and configure, and nice you've got the cloud-based connectivity without opening any ports on your router. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.